Alright, so what we need to do here is this here. Hold on, I need to probably. Okay, I don't have a red wire. Ran yet. Yeah. So we need to remember that. Okay, so we need to hook our license plate light up and our brakes up. So it does not matter what wire goes to what for your brakes. You just need a ground and your brake power wire. So We'll uh, Daddy. Daddy. get this wired up here. What, Bubby? What is this? Right what? It's just other wire, Bubby. Daddy, I can't see no thing. You can't? No. I'm flashing light right on your head. Hey, we use you guys as a little holder there while I figure out how I want to run this. here in just a second. It's here, I can't it. Yep, it's a motor. Stay out from there, bud. It's a motor. Stay out from there. May May, don't be messing with that, okay? Dad, I can't hold it. Yeah. Wait, over here I got shot. And right behind the other camera. The other, I got shot. Today. Yeah. Dad, I can't hold
just because. As soon as I solder this one, I will. Just is, bub. doing here is we're hooking up the brakes on this side Daddy, can hmm. I lay on 
Ja, hier sind wir ja. Alright, well, I need to run our brake wire from the front back. So, let me get that done. Alright, so, I got the wire ran. Here's the, the new wire. So, let's, uh, go ahead and get this hooked up here. But what do you need it for? Yeah. Be careful. Because we got to melt the solder. <laughs> Jack. Close the door, bud. It can't come out, bud. Close the door. Yeah. Huh? It can't come in. Jimmy ain't back. Close the door, Max. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I'm working, Daddy. Right, Daddy? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Um. Solder and wires together. We just turned. Daddy, why is it turned? So much. It just Can you sit on this for a second and put it down? Daddy, 
Can you put this down? I think it might be down as far as we go. How do you do that? Just because I'm back. All right, well, we got the rear lights wired up. We got the license plate wired up. We got the jumpers that go back and forth for the the um, running lights on the passenger side front fender and the ground for the brakes and uh, the brake wire. So now we just need to go up here and tie into the side marker light. Alright, so we're gonna finish this wiring. So we need to wire the side marker in. Oh, Bubba. Okay, so white's gonna be our ground.
well, we got the rear lights wired up. We got the license plate wired up. We got the jumpers that go back and forth for the the um, running lights on the passenger side front fender and the ground for the brakes and uh, the brake wire. So now we just need to go up here and tie into the side marker light. So, driver side wiring is done, other than hooking up to the um, seven way that goes to the truck. So now we got to wire up that light, that brake, and that running light, and just tie and make everything look nice. Let me tell you, I am just thrilled with this new tripod I know it's not much to get excited over but I just couldn't see the Daddy. fact of spending 60 Daddy. to 100 dollars we'll have to fix it hold on but there you go maybe may, oh let me fix it here in a second but like I was saying I couldn't see the point in spending 60 to 100 dollars on a freaking tripod I thought it was the stupidest thing I built my first one, it was just basically sticking the ground for when I'm outside. And then I bought that one and that one. They fared a little bit better and then I thought okay I'm going to spend just a little bit more money and get a better one because I wanted one like this that had more um, ability to move around. Well, I bought that one. That thing lasted like, I didn't even get the first scratch on it. It literally lasted a couple days and I threw it in the trash. It's the that, biggest hunk of junk. Taller. Yep, that one is taller. May May knows we're talking about tripods. So, I said, all right, I'm gonna buy a good one. So, that's really what I did. And this thing feels like it's well, well built. <laughs> and it seems really strong. I like all the functions it has on it so yeah i just love ran about tripods so let's uh let's get this wired up here
All right, well, we got that light wired, that brake wired, and that light wired. So let's continue this time lapse and let's clean up. cleaned up a whole lot but we did this stuff we still need out to finish up that we need to impact out light out but we got all the lights on i would say they're all on and working but i don't know first trailer i've ever wired just kidding but we got these lights on mommy brought maddox out some lunch so he's taking his 30 minute lunch break right <laughs> and we got that brake wired, that light wired, so it's just tie everything together up there. I don't want to do that yet until I get the spare tire mounted. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to pull the truck forward so it's out of my way. We're going to take that jack off and we're going to unbolt, take stuff out of the box, unbolt it, slide it as far forward as we can. And then that way we can... Uh, See what kind of room we got to play with. All right, so I got the new safety chains on. All pretty in gold. I got the toolbox cleaned out and then bolted. I got the jack off. And I didn't think through my plan very well. Because if I slide the toolbox forward, then that's making it stick out wider so when we are turned real real sharp we're gonna come in contact with the bumper and I don't want that to happen and nine times out of ten if I got this trailer unless I'm just doing a mowing day I'm somewhere extremely tight that I can't fit my big trailer so there's chances that I gotta do some maneuvering so I want all the room in the world so back to those ain't spare tires, but I got a whole slew of them over there. Back to tires. I just don't see a good place that would be extremely easy access, like the side or the front, to get this tire. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal the automotive uh, techniques. I am going to get a cable system. And I'm going to weld it right underneath the middle of it and just we'll keep our spare tire under the trailer you won't see it so then you know less likely it would ever maybe get stolen or anything I'll just weld it to one of the I I'm gonna connect the put a piece of metal under there connect the I beams weld that piece to it done deal and then just unscrew it and everything so we're gonna do what we just took apart and put it back together. We're gonna put the uh, jack back on and bolt the toolbox back up. At least this way we don't have to redrill any holes. I wasn't looking forward to that. So let's uh let's get to that. All right, so we got it hooked back up. Now we need to mount this. And this down so that way we have all that ready and then we can finish wiring this thing up so let's uh let's get these mounted
So now we're going to get these bolted up. my master key. I'd rather the bolts be sticking out so I don't poke myself every time I get in the box.
All right, so we got the breakaway switch mounted. We got system mounted and that um, junction mounted. So now we gotta wire all this up. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to wire. So the big thing about these, if you get these off Amazon, you really, really need to pay attention to the collars because the collars are not like typical trailer wiring. I think white's your ground, red's gonna be your left turn and stop, green is your tail lights, which should be brown. So it's a it's a it's not really confusing, just better pay attention to what you're doing or you'll screw something up real fast. So let's uh Let's get this wired up and get this done. be there. It's kind of weird. 
everything's tied together, so. Um, Truck usually will tell me. Let's just kick our four ways on. Alright, we got our four ways on. Let's see what they do. I see we got one working. Huh. That one's just totally dead. And that's working. Alright, well. We're going to have to investigate that. But I'm going to save that till tomorrow. It's getting later in the day. And dinner's probably about done. I know, that one don't work. What'd you do to it, man? <laughs> so, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. All right, so it's the next morning, and I figured out the problem last night before I went in. I ran my ground from over there, jumped it to that break, and then brought it over. And when I did all the connections here, I didn't connect that one. Where that ground runs from there to here and to the license plate, to the marker and up and this break so therefore i got to connect that ground into these two Daddy, these are yep those are brakes yep. and Break. we should have some light so that's what i'm going to do first thing and Break. see if that fixes it all right well i think i got all the grounds connected together so let's uh let's see what we got here now Huh? Oh, I see lights. Got our four ways on. It looks like they're working. That one was working. License plate's working. That one's working now. That one's working. It was working. Do we got lights over here? We do. Woohoo. It looks like we got them all taken care of. Let's get this uh, thing shut down. All right, well, we got all the lights working. I'll just have to pull it to test the brakes. I don't have a way to test. I know I got power going to them, so we're good. So let's, uh, let's get this thing cleaned up and get the tires back on it, and we can call this one a wrap. Alright, well, she's down, she's on the ground, we got the new safety chains on, breakaway, 
brake controller, not controller, breakaway box. We got a new end. We got all new tires on it. Those were done like a couple weeks ago. We didn't replace the bushings and stuff because they didn't need it. We got the bearings repacked and we got that brake working. We got all new wiring, new light. We got new light for license plate and marker light over there. New light there. Brake fixed on this side. And the bearings repacked on it. We uh, sanded down under the fender wells and put a coat of undercoating on them. So this bad girl is ready to just get some work done like she always does. So that's uh, gonna be it for this one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll catch you on the next one.